you know who I am. So, why don't we get week five? That's one, two, three, four, five weeks. You know, we're five weeks into the season. Um, week zero technically doesn't count. You know, five weeks, six weeks now. Um, so, what do we have on tap this week and what is going on with me? Um, as you may know, I'm a UNT student. There is a UNT game involving Houston coming down to Denton this week. And, um, yeah, so we'll be, I'll be going to that game. Did not go to the game last week, but I will be this week. So uh, it all works out in my favor, though, uh, because um, there's a little bit of something that we'll talk about in a few moments. Um why don't we start with Friday? Pac-12 at the dark on Friday, of all places. Um, Arizona State, California. Um, California is the only undefeated Pac-12 team left. And what in the world are they going to do? Perm Edwards, are you firm for him? Are you ready for him? And his Sun Devils are going to come in the cow. And um, we don't know what's going to happen. It's Pac-12 at the dark, so... Um, that'll serve as an interesting prelude um, to Saturday's edition of Pac-12 of the Dark. We'll talk about those games later on in the day, or rather later on in this video. Um, really, the only thing that you can really think of in the um, in the noon slots, or in the case of a Texan like myself, 11 a.m., um, really the only thing you can watch is Texas Tech, Oklahoma. Uh, Northwestern taking on Wisconsin. You know, Northwestern's not really, not really a team that can wow you. Wisconsin might just run all over them. Um, Arkansas just lost to San Diego, uh, not San Diego, San Jose State. They just lost to San Jose State. Texas Tech is looking to rebound. So, uh, Kansas is kind of middling, and TCU just lost. So, you know, not really much you can do. Michigan just lost the Rutgers is Rutgers, so we're not even gonna not even gonna say anything about them. But you get to the 330 games to get a little bit more interesting, a little bit, just a little bit more interesting as Clemson takes on North Carolina. North Carolina just lost to Appalachian State. They lost to Wake Forest already on a fluky, fluky type thing. Clemson is just looking to stay undefeated and dominate. It may, it may happen again. You know, Clemson could just straight up dominate this game. I don't know. Then, you know, Virginia taking on Notre Dame. Top 25 matchup. Is Notre Dame still a top team in the country? Is, can, Virginia prove, can Virginia prove themselves? I don't know. Virginia's looking real nice right now. They're looking real nice. Notre Dame's just looking to rebound. Um. Then you got USC taking on Washington. Is Washington still the real deal in the Pac-12? Is USC going to stop being so middling and, and frustrating to watch? I don't know. I really don't. It's going to be very interesting to see this game. Um, for some reason, don't know why, um, CBS decided to get Ole Miss and Alabama as their game. Uh, Alabama's going to roll all over Ole Miss. We already know this already. The Alabama games are extremely boring to watch, um, just like New England. Um, I, just, I, just, I can hardly watch an Alabama game unless it's like a big-time matchup, and this one is no different. Ole Miss is not looking too great right now. They just lost. Um, I think that's about it. For the 330 games, not a lot here. Maybe except for Georgia Tech and Temple, because Temple's still undefeated, I believe. Uh, I don't know. Coastal Carolina's been doing some great things. They're taking a lot of Appalachian State, so I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, but then, you know, we get on down here to the to the games that are later and during this six to like 10 o'clock time slot. I will not be here at all. Um, There's not a lot that's going on here in this time slot either. You know, Connecticut 
looks absolutely pathetic, taking on UCF, who's looking to rebound. Uh, Mississippi State taking on Auburn. Eh, big meh. Uh, Auburn should probably maybe should roll. I don't know. Um, and then here we go. Here we go with this game right here. Could it be a trap for Ohio State? They're going to Nebraska. And we all know how it has been with Ohio State and, and trap games like this. Um, Nebraska's not looking too good right now. Um, they lost to Colorado already. And they're, and they've been struggling at times, you know, against teams like Illinois. Um, I don't know. Is just the field's going to struggle, or is he not? Because I mean, it's going to be hard to tell. <sighs> it's going to be hard to tell what the one's going to happen during the, um, this game. But it's probably going to be the one way or the other. And one way or the other is Ohio State's going to blow out Nebraska, or Nebraska's going to blow out Ohio State. There's no in between. I don't think Nebraska can keep up with Ohio State. But if they can, they 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 might have just have put some um, Big Ten magic on Ohio State for that magical loss during the season. So obviously, I will not be here for that game. Um, be gone. And when I do return, it will be it'll be time for Pac-12 at the dark, and it's going to be very interesting to see now. Um, now that there's only one. Under- I'm sorry. As the tickets go up for Houston or Texas. Um, but anyway, there is going to be a lot of intrigue here. Uh, we got Washington State, Utah. And that's going to be very interesting to watch. Um, Washington State still really got to that big, big loss. And then UCLA taking on Khalil Tate in Arizona. Kevin Sumlin. You know, UCLA, they just lost. They just they just lost like three straight games, and then they come up to Wazoo and beat Wazoo. You know, it's going to be very interesting to watch. Both these games are going to be very interesting to watch. Utah games on FS1, the Arizona games on ESPN, 10 Eastern, 10.30 Eastern for both. Um, 10.30 to the ESPN game, 10 o'clock for um, the FS1 game, respectively. It's going to be very interesting to watch uh, this Pac-12 slate come on down to the wire. <clears throat> and there's going to be some teams with two losses before the end of September, thus eliminating them from playoff contention. So, because there's... There's not a lot, there's not a lot else that really can be said because I mean Ohio State's still here, Clemson's still here, the th- three or four SEC teams are still here, and Oklahoma and Texas are rounding out the rear. So, you know, that twelve is probably done by September. I'm not even I'm not even joking with you. Um, the Pac-12 will probably be done. You know, they'll they'll have some teams with either a loss or California's just gonna barely hang on by a thread. With no losses, and then the, then California will end up losing sometime in October. But California has a good defense, though. Um, so does Arizona State, you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, this week is very very light. Um, the week after this is very very light as well. Not a lot going on at all. Um, but when there is something going on, it's going to be very interesting to watch and very interesting to see. Um, you know, what can, what can teams do, you know, um, what, what in the world's going to happen? I don't know. Next week, it's going to be very interesting. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or maybe later on tonight. I don't know for the NFL recap of week number three, because it was a very interesting week there. Peace, everybody.